and gentlemen, my name is Mysterious Mr. Ryan and welcome back to another room building video, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I want to do a girl's bedroom. So, I did a teenage boy's bedroom shortly after I started this room build series. So, I want to try and do a girl's bedroom because I haven't done something like that. So, um, that's the plan. We're going to see how well this goes. Um, so, let's start off. That's a five. And let's try and do a bit of a different kind of room. That's not going to work. How about that diagonal like that? And so that's looking good there. And maybe if we join those up like that, how does that look? Um, no, in a word, that's just not going to fly. But I tell you what might fly if I did that. Something a bit like that, maybe. How do we feel about that? Now that looks better. So let's grab this whole thing and just move it over a little bit. Just so we've got a bit more space. There we go. So, uh, question is, what kind of door shall we put in? Um, I want to do a light wood tone, but I don't know what kind of door would fit that. I only want a single door, because I want to put it on here. Probably something like that would not be a terrible move. Let's have a look at how does this look. Um, it's a bit low, if I'm honest, but... Uh, yeah, it's a bit too low. I tell you what, I know it has got a good door. I'm not sure it's going to really work, but I know it's much higher is that. And to be honest, I think I'm going to go with it. I kind of like that. So I know it's a bookcase from this side, but obviously if you work down those yourself, you can put whatever colour you like. So this is a girl's bedroom, so let's put a nice pink on the outside. And probably for an inside wallpaper, I know there's, there's something with flowers on, isn't there? I keep looking over it whenever I'm doing my regular builds. Um, uh, ah, there it is. Now, uh, primrose panelling. No, 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 it's going to have to be this. Have we got something with a subtle pink? Um... No, that's purple. It's close. That's better. That is more like it. And then probably for a carpet, let's match it with another pink as well. Just for an added little bonus. Something a bit like that. That looks good. So let's put the roof back on then. And then what we can do, if we move up a floor, we can put the roof back on. There we go. So, it's a bit dark in there. So let's, uh, let's first things first, let's put some uh, artificial lights in. Then we can put some windows in. So let's start off. Where are uh, that's the kind of light we wanted? Um, let's put one in there and then let's put one in there, probably. That gives a nice separation between those. That's good. So, windows, 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 windows. Let's put those in. Uh, I am thinking for windows. We have a plethora of choice now. Um,. You may have a plethora of choice, but I'm still not sure which ones to use. I can use these, probably. Yeah, probably not a bad move. Yeah, okay, let's go with those, and let's go with a nice light uh, tone. And let's put them somewhere a bit like... Let's have a look. If I put them somewhere like that, on that height there. Let's put one in there, and then one in there. That looks good. And then probably put... If we move around here... What can we put in? We could probably put another one in there and another one in there and then probably either side there we can get away with a couple of... Should we put the double in? Does the double work? The double works. There you go. So a couple of windows either side of that door just for a bit of natural light but obviously again if you put this in yourself you can move those windows however you would like. Um, decoration though. Probably a good move is some form of curtains. Let's start off with those. Let's get some curtain rails going on. Uh, what kind of curtain shall we put in? It's probably something like that with a pink is probably a good move. And that is just what the doctor ordered, apparently. Um, I'm pretty sure I said that in the last video I had an argument about what the doctor ordered. But um, anywho, let's, uh, let's move away from that if I can. That looks good. I'm happy with that. Right. Bedroom. What would be needed in a girl's bedroom? Well, let's start off. We're going to need a bed. A bed is a pretty obvious choice, so let's start off with that. Uh, single bed, because uh, this is more of a younger girl's bedroom rather than an older teenage girl's bedroom. That's a bit too much. That's just spot on, though. So let's pop that in there. So we've got that in there. Let's put a couple of bedside cabinets in. Uh, what kind of bedside cabinets should we go for? Should we go for these? Maybe in... Probably in that... 
so it's light with a little sort of hint of blue, but it's not really going to show. And let's do another. Let's do a case of fitted wardrobes in this one. So let's do. Um, we're going to put. Need to put a couple of cupboards in for regular sort of surfacey stuff when I find the colour I want. So we're going with pretty light colour. So probably something a bit like that. Put a couple of those in there. So we've got a couple of cupboards, and then over the top, let's grab that in that colour. And let's put one of those in there and one of those in there. And then with the help of that, all the way over the top, just like that. What we can also do is put a couple of lights underneath it, something to add a bit of a glow. Um, that's the kind of lights we like. Uh, let's move in a bit. Not sure what I was looking at there, but I didn't like it. Let's again with that. So we've got a couple of those in there, so that's looking good. Uh, let's put a couple of shelves in there. Um, shelves, shelves, shelves. Probably is something floating. Reclaimed plank shelf could work. That looks quite nice. Let's put a let's put a couple of those in there. That looks good. Let's actually let's bring that down a touch. I say a touch. Let's bring it down quite a lot. Actually, it's a bit too high. Let's put the curtains through it. Let's get rid of one of those shelves and put that a bit like that. There we go. And let's put one of those in there and there as well. That looks good. And then what we can do is if we grab a couple of lights, there's a little set of lamps that are the plants. That's the things exactly what I wanted. Let's put a couple of those in there. And uh, maybe some pictures behind them. I am all over the place today with these items. I am literally just placing anything I can think of that would sort of work. Um, that's really terrible. Let's put the dinosaur in there and let's put the elephant in there. Just to clarify, I'm not saying this design is terrible. I'm actually quite pleased with how this is coming together. I'm just saying it's terrible how all over the place I am. Uh, let's bring that wall down. There we go. Now I'm not constantly looking through a wall. Okay, that looks good. I'm quite pleased with that so far. Maybe let's put some decorative items around the bed. Um, so, what would be needed? Well, let's start off. There's got to be a clock or something in electronics. That's going to be a good thing. Um, I'm not sure where it fits in though. Miscellaneous. It must be in here. Okay, let's get a nice little regular looking desk clock or a lamp clock thing. Probably something like that in white would be a good move. So let's put that in there. There we go. We have a clock. So that's a good start. Uh, decorations wise, what else are we going to need? So probably some form of ladies perfumes. That looks good there. And then maybe some form of nail polishes. Actually, let's, can we, let's move that out. Let's put the nail polishes in because they're going to fit in quite nicely. And let's put the perfume in. We can fit that in over there. That looks good there like that. Uh, let's spread that out a bit more and have that little perfume tray thing in as well. That's just dandy. So, then as we move up, we're going to need to put in some regular decorative items. So let's put in a nice little butterfly picture frame. Something a bit like that. And then maybe let's get the apple. I like that. So that looks good. And... Does that fit on? No, that doesn't fit on the shelves. Um, what else could I put on the shelves, maybe? What else to put on the shelf? I cannot think of shelf things. Ah, toys, toys, toys are, toys are a little good thing. I must be able to fit a couple of figures or something up on there as well. Um, miscell no, not miscellaneous, definitely not. Um, where's the little action figures? A little horse, he can sit up there quite happily. And probably the talking llama. And let's grab a little superhero. They can sit up there as well. And uh, let's just put the little helicopter up there. Just because I can. And I've got a little bit of shelf space for it. So there we go. So we've got a few things on the shelf going on. Probably let's put a rug down. Um, what kind of rug shall we put in though? Let's put in... Oh, I know. Does this come in pink? It does come in pink. How's that for starters? Excellent. So probably put TV at the foot of the bed. Put a conservative TV at the foot of the bed. Nothing too big, I think, is, is the big 
the big sort of teller from this. So let's pop in a living room. I need that. I need the TV table thing. Aha. Uh -huh. Like that. And a nice conservative little flat screen. That's the kind of thing. We don't want anything too massive. At the end of the day, this is a little girl's room, so we don't need a massive cinemas like TV in here. What we do need, however, is some items on the wall for decoration. So decorative wall items would be hearts. Hearts could work. Um, where are the wooden hearts? Is the question. There they are. In, let's put them because they have a nice contrast on that wall. And then maybe a mirror, freestanding mirror below it. Yeah, that looks just fine. Uh, what else could be required? Agony of choice. Let's put in... I'm just trying to think of what to put in. What would be useful? Probably some kind of musical instruments. Let's get this. Let's get a little bit of a drive to be musical. So let's pop that in that gap there. And then what I can do is if I grab uh, this, can we get... Um, what else can we put in? Uh, let's put in... Let's put in... Let's put in probably one of these. That will probably fit in. Something like that. Maybe a bit lighter. Can we make that a bit more white? We can. That's better. And let's put a little teddy bear on it. Let's sit the little teddy bear in. Um, teddy bear, teddy bear with his heart in white. White teddy bear, red heart. Perfect. And then a little picture up here will just about finish that particular area off. Um, there's a glass thing. It's a thing trapped in glass. That's it. My descriptions are not getting any better, are they? Since last time I said thingies a lot, so... Yeah, maybe I might need to work on that and start learning some of these items a lot more. Ah, screw it. We won't bother. We won't bother when we'll make it up. If we can't think of what it is, we make it up until we get it right. Or until we look silly. More chance of looking silly right now. Uh, desk. 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 Let's bring it back to The Sims. Let's put a desk in. Let's put a desk. Probably this kind of desk. Uh, with that. Like that, maybe? No, 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 no. No, that's never going to fly. That, on the other hand, is just what we need. And then maybe something simple on the chairs. Do we have a simple kind of chair? That's simple. It's simple and we like it. Uh, let's put in a little plant. A little plant in. Aha, cherry tree twig. Uh, that's good. So let's get a nice big, big Drago in the corner. Is that Drago? No, that's Uni. Which one's Drago? Are you Drago? No, or Dino? Ah, you're Drago. There it is. I'm going to need to learn that. I'm going to need to learn the difference between them. All I know is I want a giant stuffed toy, and I don't have one, and I'm disappointed every time I look around my room and have nothing giant and cuddly in it. <sighs> sea of disappointment. So, let's put in some more decorations, bring it back to the world of Sims briefly. Only briefly, bearing in mind, I don't want you to get too attached. Me and my mindless rambles. Just to clarify, you do know that every time I make a video, I do this and will talk like this throughout most of the video. Even if I am not actually recording the audio, I spend most of my times with, where's the thing that looks like the thing, I cannot find X, Y, or Z, or look at this thingy. That is how I spend most of my actual builds. And I know many of you are probably sitting there going, no, he doesn't. He really does. He really does spend a large quantity of his time going, where's the thingy? And as much as I hate to admit it, I wish, I wish it wasn't true. I really do. But uh, unfortunately, no, it, it, I do spend a legitimately large amount of my time Looking up and down these item lists, where is a picture that I want? It's a picture it's split into six, or eight, or something like that. Little squares with a splash of colour in the middle. Is it here? Where is it? I know what it looks at. That's not it. No, no, that's not it. It's close. I want, I want that. I want the picture version of it that's split into more sections with a red splash of colour in the middle. That's what I want. I think it's red. It might be pink, but I don't really care right now. I want it. 
I want it and I cannot find it. Comment section is already screaming at me because they know where it is and I do not. And I'm still none the wiser. Um, no, I had hope for a moment. Movie posters. Ah, there we go. I knew it was in there. It was just a case of finding it. Okay, these are these are things I haven't seen. Let's pop one of those in there. I like that. We'll go with that. It's a bit different. And anything else we feel like we want to put into this particular build? Or are we happy that everything is covered? I think I'm quite happy actually. Okay, so I think I'm going to call that one there. So if you have liked what you've seen here, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. It means so much to me if you do. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and help spread the word. Also, if you are looking to forward to watch now and are wondering, you can always click the little eye in the top corner of your screen. That'll take you to one of my other playlists. Also, if you want to check out the description down below, tons of really cool stuff along with links to all the other things you should definitely check out to keep you going. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mysterious Mr. Ryan and I'm out. I'll see you later and take care. Take care.